Hello everyone. Uh, last time around I noted that I was probably going to start a new game and yeah I, I've decided I'm definitely going to do that. Uh, like the, the other one's to the point where it's just noodling around just doing the same stuff over and over again and uh, I've made a right hash of about half of it and you know all that jazz right. So uh, I want to try something a little bit different here. I'm going to do something that's roughly cosmonaut uh, and, uh, that is, um, I need to, uh, build an initial town and use that to collect stuff from the border, uh, likely the Soviet border, and then use that, then from there, I need to build everything myself. Um, that's the, the general idea. Uh, and then the, the ultimate goal is to get a... A, a republic that is going to be sustainable. That is uh, where I have uh, the minimum necessities to uh, to produce uh, to for the, for the people uh, being produced locally. So that uh, in, in my mind, that's food. That's uh, you know the uh, food, meat. Uh, clothes, uh, also uh, fuel uh, for transport, and electricity. So uh, getting all of those online, that's going to take a little while. Uh, and it's going to depend on the map how well that goes. And also I want to, uh, I want to uh, set a, a rule here, which uh, hopefully I won't uh, ignore later on that uh, where possible <clears throat> vehicles should be purchased at the border uh, and then transported to uh, where they're needed uh, and that um, that isn't always going to be practical but it's something uh, or possibly even possible but it's something that does make things a little more challenging where you can't just go okay i'll just whack five five vehicles in here uh, you know, that sort of thing. I am going to also uh, disallow auto-purchasing of goods beyond what's absolutely necessary to start the game. Uh, uh, everything will have to be purchased from the border uh, and delivered to where it's needed or produced in the Republic and delivered to where it's needed. So that's, that's going to be the goal. Uh, and how well that pans out, uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm probably going to make a hash of it and fail hard. But anyway, uh, we're going to go here for... Oh, I'm going to allow uh, some uh, workshop items uh, where uh, it makes sense. But I'm going to avoid using things like ginormous construction offices and things like that. Uh, but, you know, variations in conveyor engines uh, and uh, things like um, power substations, that sort of thing, that I will, uh, I will allow. In particular, a substation that allows through connection for the uh, high, high, high voltage line. Uh, because it doesn't make sense that you have to put a switch and a substation. So just allowing it with just the substation, uh, that, uh, that makes it a little more practical. And it's certainly not unreasonable that things would operate that way. So we're going to start with a new game. Now, um, I think we'll go with a random map. We're going to go with... Start off with hard difficulty, okay? So money amount's going to be hard. Uh, we're going to have great uh, un unsatisfied citizen response. We're going to require energy management, so fuel for, ve for, for vehicles as well as buildings. Uh, we are going to... Now, this is something... Cosmonaut mode says that you keep the, the moving sun, day-night cycle. I am going to put it on always day. Now, the reason I'm going to do that is so that you guys can see what's going on. Because uh, uh, when it gets dark, it's dark and nobody can see anything, right? And I'm going to make a big enough hash of this without uh, nighttime that, you know. But we are going to have seasons. 
We're going to have frequent building fires. We're going to enable global events. We're going to have pollution. We're going to start in 1960. And uh, we're going to lock vehicles according to the year. We're going to have the complex uh, education simulation. And crime and justice isn't available yet, so we can't enable it, right? So, so we got that. Now, I am going to start with an, a starting population. That does not actually make things all that much easier because you can seriously cause yourself uh, pain if you accidentally activate uh, one of the sleeping villages by building something too close to it, right? Uh, so it could, uh, it could cause some, some pain, but uh, it also means that we have some citizens that we don't have to import right, right off the start. And that's, uh, that's going to save us a few rubles. Uh, or dollars. Um, now, the default starting population does seem like it's probably okay. Now, the other thing having a starting population gives us is we've got some villages that we could end up having to work around. So, you know, and we'll have some roads and stuff that we, we already have going to border posts and things like that. And that kind of, it makes it a little more reasonable uh, for an initial uh, republic, right? Uh, where you've just taken over as the leader and you've established your republic, but there's already people on the land, right? So that, that's, that's my reasoning there. So if we, we go in here now, uh, initial buildings, uh, we're going to, I'm going to actually build the cities and roads. Uh, we'll take, we'll get approximately five towns. will be fine. Uh, now amount of lakes is probably going to be fine. Uh, now, Lakes are okay. They're an obstacle to getting at things, but we can always terraform them or, or landscape them in, right? Amount of hills, that's probably fine. Terrain, you know, uh, we're going to uh, increase the tree density by a little bit. Uh, and we're going to uh, increase the forest amount by a little bit, just because I like the trees. Yeah, uh, and we'll see what happens. Uh, so uh, between these, uh, don't build anything is theoretically the harder option, but uh, you know this is going to build mud roads, right? So uh, we're not really gaining anything from that, right? Uh, okay, so we've got that. So we will start the game. Now, if this map is terrible, I will consider restarting it. Uh, right. Okay, we're generating the random terrain. And then once this starts, I need to make sure that my picture in picture is not blocking anything. Right. And waiting 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 and waiting. And waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. We're populating buildings. Aha! Now we will immediately. Uh, where? Where's the? We will immediately pause it. Yeah, I'm. Uh, my picture in picture is not in the way. Okay. So first thing we're gonna do, I guess, is. Uh, uh, how do we view the map here? That's here and we'll do this right okay so we've got one two three four we've got a number of border posts okay uh, we're good there um, now is this the one that's uh, uh, that's the one that's close to both borders Okay, that might be a good spot to start. Let's uh, let's get this out of here, and we'll uh, take a look here. So that's a big border post with three. Okay, uh, and this one is also a big border post. So this is actually not a bad place to start everything out. Uh, and we've got uh, we've got uh, what's that? Uh, I can't read it. Uh, Vul 
Volcanodini. Okay, well, we've got that. Okay. So, uh, what have we got around here? Uh, we've got a little bit of gravel production we can do. We got over here. Um, oh, these are, uh, these are gravel roads. Okay, well, that's fine. Uh, uh, you know, I think the initial town, I might... Oh, we got a big border post down here too. Um, we've got room down here uh, without any towns in the way. We've got room. I think that might be a better starting point, so we don't end up accidentally waking up this this town up here. Uh, yeah, I think that's what we will do. Okay. Now, uh, what's this? Right, construction finished. Okay, burn it. Right, okay. What I want to do, though, I want to see where the uh, resources are. So, ah, we've got coal relatively near this starting point. Okay. We've got iron relatively near the starting point. We've got oil relatively near the starting point. Uranium's also yeah and but oh we've got everything right around here that's gonna be that could be challenging to actually exploit anything right okay um okay so coal is gonna be important but that's down there iron is up there uh, oil is over there. Okay, so we want to build close to the border post. Okay. Uh, now down here, okay, we've got some gravel over here. Gravel over there. We have gravel over here. Okay, yeah, that's where I think, that's where we want to get our uh, setup. We want to be relatively close to the gravel so we can we can collect that. Okay, so I think over here is where we'll set up our uh, initial uh, uh, town setup. Yeah, uh, we're, we're going to have to set up our construction operation, right? Uh, okay, so that's going to take a little bit of uh, fiddling. Oh, and in case you're wondering where the blue uh, background went in the picture-in-picture, picture, uh, cleaned up a little bit, and uh, I don't need to hide the... Uh, the uh, the room anymore uh so uh put the put the uh, uh I, you know so i i decided not to dig that thing out uh there's really no point uh, grabbing it until i get proper lighting for it anyway so yeah uh it's because i can't key it out um uh, as i have terrible lighting in here uh right okay so what do we need well uh the first thing we're going to need is uh where's uh, construction uh it's down here advanced food miscellaneous construction industry right construction offices right okay so what we're going to need first of all is a construction office right which we will have to auto build with rubles but i'm not going to i'm not going to auto purchase resources i'm going to turn off auto building uh, initially okay but we need a uh, construction office that's going to be uh, in range of everything. And this is going to set our uh, construction area here. Uh, okay, so I'm going to put it facing this way. Okay. Now, can we get a... Yeah, we can get a... So we'll zoom in enough here that I can see what I'm doing. 
and then if okay so if we put the construction office here and this is going to be we're going to call this something uh uh something uh useful um no what are we going to call it uh polochevo would be uh, okay but let's call it something uh something more useful uh, or more English, so I can understand what it is. Um, it's going to be... Um, no, I'm not going to do the gag and call it um. Uh, we're going to call this... Uh, well, what are we going to call this? We could call it... Um, we could call it Fred or something like that, but that would be totally uh, bizarre. Well, we can always rename it. Uh, we're going to call this, well, I guess, we're going to call this Barter Town. Why are we calling it Barter Town? Because we can. Okay, so we're in Barter Town. Okay, now, uh, we're going to need to connect that to the border and we're going to use mud roads we're going to start this out by putting a road going like this which will go all the way up to here right and then we will connect this good okay now um Oh, what I should do is uh, we'll cancel this bit. Yeah, uh, we'll get this back and we'll run this down about like that. OK, yeah. OK, now uh, what we're going to do is uh, build this. Let's build everything out of dollars first and then go on to rubles. Okay, so we're going to let it run just long enough to build that. Okay, we have this. Now, we're going to need an excavator. Uh, and, uh, okay, so now, so we're going to buy... Uh, do we have any, any good, no, we don't. Okay. Uh, but we can buy and no, we can go in here and buy an excavator. Uh, we could go with this one, which is speed 33. Um, yeah, I think we'll, we'll go with just the one. And then we're going to go in here because we're going to need some fuel. We're going to go manual purchase and we're going to buy We're going to buy a full tank of fuel for the construction office. Now, I need I need to make sure that we have fuel for the excavator, and that's why I'm going to do this, but it's on manual so that it doesn't repeat. So we'll buy that. Now, we can go... Yeah, we've got the fuel. Okay. Now, uh, what this means is now we've got the uh, ability to uh, level our uh, buildings, uh, the land under our buildings, when we go ahead to, uh, to place them. Now, what we need over here is all of the construction business. Okay. Now, uh, we will uh, start out with a... Uh, where is it? industry uh, uh, miscellaneous gravel yep 
No, it's storage. Uh, cargo and storage. Aggregates. Uh, we need... Uh, storages. We need a small aggregate storage that we'll need to put somewhere. Um, now let's, uh, let's build our uh, construction depot thingy over... Okay, so what we're going to need here, uh, we need, we're going to be bringing gravel into the aggregate storage, and then the aggregate storage is going to offload it to the asphalt plant, the uh, concrete uh, plant, and directly to, uh, to uh, construction projects. Okay? Uh, that means we need a uh, three-way exit from the thing, right? Now, we can also, uh, we can do this. Uh, no, that's out. Those are in. Okay, so we've got an out there. Oh, the out is on the same side as the road. Hmm. Uh, small aggregate storage. Yeah, the out is on the same side as the road. Uh, okay, so if I rotate it like that. Okay, that does flip it. Okay. Um, okay, so... I'm going to put it here. Uh, no. No, I'm going to put it right here. No, I'm going to put it here. Right. Like that. Okay. Now, uh, what I want to do is I want to get the output here into a three-way uh, conveyor uh, splitter thingy. Uh, conveyor engine. Okay, so, and we can get this up, we can get this over the road, you see. And uh, that's what I want to do here. Now, if I put it here, yep. Now, uh, I'm going to need a uh, road car, a truck aggregate loading, which will go uh, which can go right here. No, it can go right here. Yeah, I can go here. But I'm going to put a bit of a gap in there. Yeah. And uh, we need also construction related. So that we're going to need a uh, cement plant. No, we're going to need a concrete plant. Concrete plant, yep. And that if we flip that hmm yeah that's uh that's about reasonable i think so if i put this up here yeah good uh then uh, i need an asphalt plant which will go it can go right here. Okay. Right. Yep. Okay. So that means we've got our uh, gravel comes out here and loads there. Now, why have I left a bunch of empty space here? 
Well, it's so that uh, I can potentially add uh, uh, helicopter pads. Uh, yeah. Uh, also, uh, we're going to need... Uh, I'm going to also... Uh, storage. Uh, aggregates, liquids, dry bulk. Uh, we want a dry bulk storage. Uh, which will we can use to store uh, uh, we, we can use to store uh, cement right so we can uh, we can put this out to about here yeah now I'm doing that so that we keep less traffic over at our cement thing there now uh, we're also going to need uh, liquids uh, where we're going to have a uh, storage for uh, bitumen for the asphalt okay so we'll uh, bring that in just there. Okay. So that gives us a, a storage for each of, each of those. We got all of that. So that's our uh, base uh, um, uh, construction uh, bit there for the, uh, for the uh, roads type stuff. Uh, that's for concrete, asphalt, and... Uh, uh, gravel right now uh, we're also going to need a uh, imports area now before we get too far there I'm going to add a few roads here uh, which will come across like this that can because these things need to connect to roads so we'll come down this this way Again, I'm not making this ultra compact so that there's room for us to adjust things potentially in the future. Uh, and we'll uh, grab a road across here as well. Just like that. Okay. Okay, so everything there is connected up to a road. Now, we've got one more thing that we need to do, and that's a, a distribution point for inputs for other things. Now, uh, we're going to need a... Uh, we're going to need a warehouse, but we're also going to need a road cargo station of some description. So, uh, cargo and storage. Uh, load and unload. So, no. Uh... General cargo. Uh, road cargo station. Road cargo station. So we're going to need a road cargo station, right? Uh, now, I, I'm not sure how the uh, layout's going to work here. So I'm going to put this like this, uh, basically in the middle here. Okay. I'm going to start out like that. Now, uh, we're going to need a uh, warehouse. Uh, right. So we're going to need a warehouse, uh, which I guess we can put here. Yeah. Okay, we're definitely going to need a warehouse. Okay. Now, the warehouse is going to be for most things. We're going to need... Uh, we're going to need an open storage. Uh, open storage. Small is probably fine. Uh-huh. So, we'll put it... Can we uh, put it like this? No. So we'll put the open storage here. Yeah.
Yeah. We're going to need a meat storage as well. Which we can put... I guess... Uh... We probably don't need to attach that to the cargo station here. Uh, no, I think we do. Okay, so we do this. Yeah, we'll do this. Now, this we don't need. Okay. Okay, so that's those. Now, we come in here. Uh, we can bring this road uh, further across here. Yeah. Uh, connect that. Uh, we'll need a road up here. Kind of like that. Yeah. Uh, this we'll need to connect out here. Yeah. And this. Uh, we'll need to connect kind of like that. Okay, well, uh, we'll do that. Okay. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Um, I guess we can clobber that too. Yeah. Okay. And we'll bring a road across here. And that one can come down like this. Yeah. Okay. Connect that. Okay. So that's everything there connected. Okay. So what this means is what we'll do is we'll, we'll uh, deliver stuff, uh, into, uh, I think we'll deliver stuff directly to the, hmm, well, we'll deliver stuff into the road cargo station. I think I'm going to go looking for a larger cargo station at some point, but what we're going to do is we're going to store stuff in the open storage here, all the, the stuff here. This is the initial storage setup, okay? Uh, I'm going to do something a little more uh, bespoke for each uh, cargo type. Uh, as the uh, Republic develops. Uh, but as you notice, we're at half an hour and I haven't actually built anything except the initial uh, thing here. Now, what we're going to need as well is somewhere for people to live here. We're going to need a, a, a quite a bit of stuff like that. So, uh, and we don't want it right beside all of this. Uh, so I'm going to, uh, want to, uh, I'm going to want to put the, uh, people, well, let's, uh, grab the, uh, the map here and let's see, where are the resources? Uh, iron. Okay. We're right on the edge of the iron here. So I want to go down on the map. Okay. Good. Uh, so, we're going to put the people, initially, down about here, okay? Uh, so, uh, let's, um, let's go in here, uh, storage. Uh, storage. Uh, we'll go in here and we'll uh, go for a large aggregate storage and we'll go we'll go down here and uh, let's see and we'll use the We'll use the excavator we have in the construction office. We can flatten land here, right? So if we look here, uh, you can see here uh, we are actually flattening land without paying anything for it, right? 
So that's the uh, reason for having an excavator there, right? Uh, but that's a uh, hilltop, and I don't think we want to build there. No, I think we're probably just as well off to build over here. Yeah. Yeah, we can build over there. That's fine. Uh, so, yeah, we don't have any, uh, any issues with flattening there. So, uh, I guess I'll put the, uh, the workers, uh, over here. So I'm going to, uh, start out by building a road into there. Uh, first of all, I'm going to, no, I'm going to, uh, get the road. I'm going to get the, uh, thing there and then this yeah we got this then we go over here and I want to get the road all the way out to there so now we have a minimum distance to the border post right and then I want to uh, bring the uh, the road into the like the main road for the uh, uh, settlement will be this one okay and then I'm going to, uh, now, the next episode, uh, because this is uh, long enough already, the next episode I'm going to go ahead and set up the town where we're going to get the workers to run the stuff up here, right? And the uh, infrastructure we need for the town. Uh, and that's going to be quite a bit more uh, planning stuff. Uh, and uh, just so you know, we're almost certainly going to have to take a loan at some point to uh, complete all of this. So, uh, yeah. Uh, so that's that's going to be it for uh, for this uh, this episode. So I'm gonna, I'm going to put the cut here. Uh, next time around, there will be more uh, planning out the uh, the republic, and uh, then we'll get to the point where we actually build the stuff that we have to build, and then get our uh, vehicles uh, uh, delivering everything and uh, and then uh, we should be uh, we should be okay anyway uh, I guess like comment subscribe you know that business uh, or you can dislike if you prefer and of course we have the uh, bell icon thing uh, if you activate that uh, you might get some notifications that you might find useful uh, but all that said, see you back next time.